you very much, Hans-Hermann Hoppe, for invitation. It's a great pleasure and uh, fun today. A uh, great pleasure for me and great honor to speak to you about uh, political correctness, or about political correctness in Germany. Uh, for that, I, first I will uh, do uh, a very brief definition about what PC is in essence, um, and uh, about the method and goal of PC. And after that, I will discuss uh, the German uh, particular features on PC, compared, for example, with the US situation in the US or in Great Britain. So what is uh, political correctness in its uh, perhaps shortest possible definition, just in one word? I think uh, political correctness is uh, language politics or speech politics. And as we know, that the political class is trying to politicize all areas of our life. The politicization of the economy is an advancing in this crisis with breathtaking speed, uh, advancing process. We know the war against uh, terrorism uh, provides an excuse for an never seen politicization uh, of security. And despite some setbacks and expectations, uh, the politicization of education, of, of, breath, uh, of, of health, of social security, of almost every area of our private life is an almost continuously advancing process these days. And PC is thus a form of, uh, or a special type of this uh, politicization process. Or it is a deepness, depersonalization of our use of, of language. The most apt quote about the method and um, the goal of political correctness uh, I could found was in an article by Theodore Dalrymple. And Mr. Daniel says that in his study of communist societies, he came to the conclusion that the purpose of communist propaganda was not, or was not to persuade or convince, not to inform, but to humiliate. And therefore, the less it correspondent to reality, the better. When people are forced to remain silent when they are being told the most obvious lies, or even worse, when they are forced to repeat the lies themselves, they lose once and for all their sense of probity. I think I forget, forgot to say that Mr. Derrimple said political correctness is communist propaganda writ small. So, to send to obvious lies is to cooper cooperate with evil, and in some small way, Mr. Daniel says, is to become evil oneself. And while standing to resist anything is thus eroded and even destroyed, a society of emasculated liars is easy to control. Uh, Mr. Daniel uh, says about communist propaganda, and he adds, if you examine political correctness, it has the same effect and is intended too. Thus, the method of PC is the creation of fear of saying what oneself believes to be true. And this fear is created through the possibility of losing one's job, the denouncement of, and isolation in society, um, of public humiliation, of getting trashed by political correct sucks, and of the threats of other reprisals. And in case of an incorrect choice of word, you have to ap apologize. You have to apologize again and again, prefer preferably on your knees. And you have to do a particular type of uh, performance of self-criticism. And uh, this too we know um, from communist societies, Maoist China. Um, As someone may know the Germans, the Germans tend to exaggerate. And this is the case too, I think, uh, with regard to reprisals against the uh, politically incorrect. In the beginning of this year, the right-wing extremist Horst Mahler, who had stolen nothing, nor deceived anybody, hit anybody, or attacked anyone in any other, other ways, was convicted just because of the wrong words and uh, of his wrong thoughts. And because, as a judge said, he was 
unregenerate and obstinate, to six years in jail without peril. <coughs> and this is a considerably uh, harsher punishment just for some words than uh, some real Nazis got for their deeds. The linguistic areas of operation of PC is a phenomen in, phenomenon in uh, all Western countries, and uh, interestingly enough, only in these uh, Western democracies. And they are the same in Germany as they are in these other Western democracies. And there are two areas of content, I think. First, it is a matter, as one, one says, non-discrimination of perceived minorities, such as women, foreigners, non-white and non-Christian, and until now, true minorities, such as homosexuals or disabled people. And it is secondly a matter of political determination of historical truths. And this concerns particularly everything, of course, to do with the Third Reich. And this point explains why Germany is so important for the PC engineers. And in the US, uh, it, it concerns uh, slavery, the war between the states, or in Great Britain, uh, the question of colonial times. But in every case, Fear is created through feelings of guilt, or rather through a kind of a cult of a guilt. And uh, last year, we, uh, Paul Godfrey told us about the religious aspect on this phenomenon. But it is not only a matter of what one says, but who says it. Just for black, eco-socialist, homosexual woman, it is uh, nearly impossible to uh, roughly, treat, uh, roughly be treated uh, by the ray of language political punishment, even if she says one, something very politically incorrect. And conversely, a white conservative Christian man uh, does not need to say anything very firm and will be, still be uh, attacked with PC. In that case, suspicion and assumptions and obvious distortions of quotes are sufficient. In Germany, this once happened to a conservative uh, member of parliament, of our federal uh, parliament, and this man made a speech against uh, collective judgment of guilt. And he used the example that many Jews were on the side of the Bolsheviks during the Russian October Revolution. And he argued that it would be wrong to derive a collective conviction of all Jews from that fact. And without having said anything politically incorrect directly, the media, of course, twisted his words, and for some weeks he was the anti-Semitic devil of Germany. And years later, he won by law, by, won, by, won by law against a misrepresentation of these facts. However, it was too late for him, of course. He lost, he lost his job, and uh, of course, no one reported about this. And I'm sure there are many similar examples in Great Britain, in France, or in the US. So if content, nature, and areas of operation of PC are the same in Germany as in the other Western democracies, where are the differences? Only in the measures or in the drastic length of the jail terms? And concerning this indictable language offenses, so-called propaganda offenses, or Volksverhetzung, or incitement of the people, which are so far unknown in the English-speaking part of the world, not only the, the length of the sentence is, is shocking, also, the incredible number of criminal procedures is hardly known, even hardly known in Germany. In German courts, in the 10 years between 1994 and 2004, there have been 101,310 criminal procedures because of opinion offenses, propaganda offenses of Volksverhetzung. And however, not the courts are the most important agents of uh, implementing PC, but the media are. And here, too, there is a particular German feature, because contrary to other countries, uh, most of the, none of the German mainstream media have grown historically. They all were created and chosen and given a public license by the Allied military forces after 1945. And only those who ac acknowledged the in historic interpretation of the victors and helped to spread them, usually over-interpreting them, were given this license. 
And this is possibly the most important reason for the fact that in questions regarding the interpretation of uh, history, um, there exists no opposing media voice at all in Germany. Perhaps someone of you may know the Germans, so yes, may know some Germans are here. And uh, you may know then that the Germans today basically have a psychological problem I have heard of. At the beginning of the last century, it might have been true that it was possibly widespread in Germany that the Germans said, we, the Germans, are the greatest who have ever lived. But today, for sure, most Germans are officially convinced that the Germans are the greatest and worst criminals that have ever lived. And above all, that the German crimes by far are by far the most terrible and that have ever been committed. And whoever makes the slightest qualifying objection in the face of this somewhat different chauvinism, you can say this perverted form of nationalism, is per definition a Nazi, and thus a modern form of the devil. So believe me, it's nearly impossible today for a German to speak freely, really freely, about any aspect of the Nazi time. Two years ago, there was a scandal in Germany involving an up to, the, up, to the, uh, up, to t up to then very popular blonde uh, TV newsreader and talk show host. And she was invited to another talk show and claimed there that speaking restraints in Germany now obviously went so far that no one could not even use the word Autobahn because the Nazis built motorways too. And as the, the truth of her thesis became evident when she was then thrown out of that same show with the words, you can go now. And other guests in this show hyperventilated and said, oh, to Bahn, that's an absolute no-no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this, this woman had be, even been active in obligatory anti-fascist organizations, and she really only wanted to promote a more conservative Christian image of a family. And she lost her job and uh, has not been seen again in German television since then, not anywhere, although she wrote some bestseller books. So are there any protections against political correctness? I think in the US there at least is a constitution with its unconditional protection of free speech. In Great Britain there may be the British, specific British humor who may offer a sarcastic protective wall against an all too obvious PC hounding, at least sometimes. In France, there may even be more awful political tendencies or laws than in Germany, but in France, of course, uh, not every stupidity is implemented in, in, into the population town, down to the last village, a consolation. And in Germany, German humor, <laughs> sadly, sadly next to nothing. In this respect, uh, criminal Law particularities, media particularities, mental self-hate, and absent specific protection. It is true when we think back on the quote of Mr. Dalrymple that the Germans themselves became to a certain kind diabolical. And all Germans are, are quite certainly very limited in their ability to resist all kinds of uh, politicization. And besides, besides this, because of the demonized Nazi bogey, the supposedly contrasting democratic politics, and thus also the language politics, the PC, are sacrosanct and practically not criticizable. And this is madness, because really, in, in the words of my friend Carlos Gebauer, who will speak next to me, the lessons from history the real lesson from history could be after Auschwitz there can be no more politics. But however, in, in closing, I want to add something hopeful. <clears throat> Mr. Dalrymple's PC template, communism, as it actually existed, finally collapsed under the over-politicization of all areas of life, as predicted by Mises uh, for the area of economics. And there are some indi indications, I think, that communism also collapsed due to an exaggeration of lies and fear. And in, in this area, too, life became over the years, in the true sense of the word, unbearable for the people. 
And if that is true, then Germany as the frontier state of PC could be the first country in which political correctness is finally overcome. And indications for this can be found on, on the uh, relatively free until now discussion forums on the, on the internet. Where, for example, hundreds of thousands of people, tellingly most of them anonymously or under pseudonym or nickname, voiced support for this mentioned demonized uh, TV newsreader and talk show host, in the very contrast to what they were told in the mainstream media. So the methods of PC seem not to have changed the true and secret opinion of the people, which used to be obscured by the mass media, and which is now on the internet becoming visible for many. So perhaps it is PC that will cause a radical counter movement. Pressure causes counter pressure. And perhaps this counter movement will grow particularly in Germany. Let us hope then that it will be a counter movement that will be anti political in other areas as well. Thank you.